All right, y'all, what is going on, man? Before I get into the subject right quick, um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell. Man, let's get to that 1,000 Let's get to that thousand subscriber mark, man, for real, though, so we can really start getting the, getting the show rolling and um, so I can really uh, build this platform, build this channel to, to make it more better, man, get better equipment, actually get my own camera, start to come up on the, compu come up on the computer and buy all those uh, necessary items I need for this channel to make it better and upgrade it better. I need y'all to subscribe to this channel, man. Be notified, man. Get me to that thousand subscribe mark. I really would appreciate it. For real, though. But um, also, too, be on the lookout for another uh, car video of my truck and everything. Be on the lookout for a truck show vlog that I'm about to be going to. I think it's either... When is that damn truck show? I think it's in the next two weeks. It's the uh, Truckers Wanted Show. Truckers Wanted and Truck Show. And Show and Shine Contest. So be on the lookout for that. I'm going to get some dope. Other than that, man, let's talk about Citibank right quick, man. And what's going on right now. Every week is always something. At least I ain't going through no car problems. Hell, this time it's actually financial damn problems. Out of all things. Sometimes, I think about it. I'd rather, rather we'll deal with some car issues than to be dealing with the bank's bull crap. Alright, let's talk about this. Two weeks ago, I just opened up a new account with uh, Citibank, by the way. Real shit, though. Um, I got two, I got like three, I got three different bank accounts because um, I like to save money. I like to stack money up and everything. And that's just me, and that's how the way I am. So, um... Let me show you guys something. By the way, check out my wallet. Look at that. That's my, actually my wallet, by the way. Oh, shit. That's actually my wallet. <laughs> $100 bill. <laughs> Hopefully, I get that as a thumbnail and everything. Check it out. But, um... I got, like, three different bank accounts. I got a checking and savings account on here, and I got a checking account on here. So, one way or another, I put money on all these cards whenever, you know... Whenever I get paid and everything, I like just I like to stack money up. That's just me. That's the example I'm trying to set out here is uh, saving money for a rainy day because you never know, especially like what I'm going through right now. I just opened up this account um, two weeks ago and everything. And uh, one thing that they did not tell me was that when I deposit my first check, they was going to hold it for five business days. They didn't say this the day that I went up there and everything, you know. And I remember when I had Bank of America, when with Bank of America, I never had this issue. They will give me like a two hundred dollar credit off two hundred. They release like two hundred or three hundred dollars off that credit, and the check will clear by Tuesday or Wednesday. See, that was not bad. Here is a little bit more different. This shit takes like up to fucking five days for your check to clear. Real talk though, and that shit's pretty frustrating. Real talk though, it is. You know, and um, you know, like I said. Hundred dollar bill wallet, which is pretty low-key frustrating for real. I mean, especially when you gotta wait for your money that you done bust your ass for, and 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 that you worked your ass off that whole fucking week for. And um, you know, you don't. I didn't expect this. They didn't even explain this to me or nothing like this. And um, I called yesterday to see what's going on with that check. If it bounced or it cleared, it cleared on the company's end. You know, there's money on that check. They're just holding it for whatever their policy is and every goddamn thing because you barely just open up an account and it's not 30, day, 30 days old or whatever, which is fucking stupid. Don't make no fucking sense. It's like, you know, I talked a lot of shit about Bank of America, but at least with Bank of America, they don't hold your money from you. They will release half of that money that's on that check that you're receiving, you know? So I really didn't complain about that, you know? But um, here it's like, it's fucking bullshit. Now, good thing about me, I'm not over here flexing. I don't know if you're showing off or whatever. I don't owe nobody money. I don't got no bills. When I mean by bills, I don't got credit cards, debt, nothing like that. Other than the car note, that's it. Other than that, I really don't got no bills like that. You know, so it's like I'm not basic so I'm so I'm not stressing, I'm frustrated. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like at the end of the day, you want your fucking money that you done bought your ass off for, that you done hustled for it. So, you know, so for any of y'all, y'all can see where I'm coming from on. Poor customer service at Citibank, man. Especially when I went off of Atlantic Avenue, over there in Bixby Knowles, Long Beach area. Bad customer service. Uh, you know what? I'm, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to throw her name out there just in case you ever go up there and everything and all that. I'm going to be honest. For customer service and everything, one star. Just attitude. Like, like, what the hell? Like, come on now. Like, how you gonna sit up here and say... Alright, y'all, sorry about that, man. I just hate when people start texting and calling and shit. I hate that shit. But, 
Let me get back to it and everything. Um, poor customer service up there, man. Bad customer service with the uh, with the representatives that be at the desk and everything, where you set up your account and all that, or if you got some issues going on. Bad customer service. Um, I called yesterday. I called customer service yesterday to see what's going on. They explained me that situ situations like this, you know, um, they told me to go up there, talk to a representative, talk to the manager. They'll look at the check, verify it and everything, make sure everything is right and all that, you know. And they'll release, they'll release either the full amount or half of the amount. The next day they release the full amount. Went up there today, the same particular lady who had an attitude, her name does go, I think her name is Rosa or whatever. For the ones that live in Long Beach or wherever you might be from, if you're in the Cal Southern California area, in the LA County, and you go to that city bank that's off of Atlantic Avenue, y'all know who I'm talking about. That, that fucking cabrona got a fucking bad attitude and a bad temper. I'm like, what the fuck? And I'm like, that's the fucking, I'm like, I'm gonna still keep my bank account and everything because I, this bank account is good. You ain't gotta worry about overdraft fees and none of that bullshit or whatever the case may be. Your money is your money that you spend and what you have on there. Just like my Bank of America card. But I have multiple accounts because I set my money to the side for just because. That's just me. I don't know. I don't know what it is. That's just how the way I get down. I save my money. And there's nothing wrong with saving your money. You know, it's just for the fact situations like this, when when these banks try to hold your money, you know what I mean? For whatever reason it may be, man. So as like I said, be careful with these banks. Be careful. I wouldn't, you know, I'm going to say like this. Before the situation went down where I, where I work at and everything with the checks bouncing and shit like that, I was usually going to these check cashing spots, cash my checks, getting the cash and deposit into my account. That's what I was actually doing. But since I couldn't go back to these check cashing spots, not because of my fault, because of the company's fault, and I was starting, I was starting to deposit them through the bank and everything. And um, I didn't expect for all this to happen. Like I never been through some shit like this before. You know what I mean? But like I said, good thing I don't have bills good thing i don't owe nobody money i don't owe money to like any creditors and stuff like that good thing i don't owe no money i ain't got no bills like that because if i did i'd be in real big trouble i already know i go for anybody out here so like i said you know be careful with these banks situations like this uh try not to have no bills try not to get caught in debt go debt free that way situations like this you ain't got to stress so much or worry about anything so much when I called customer service today, um, the guy said over the phone that tonight they're going to release half of it and then tomorrow the full amount. And I was like, hmm. And he was sure about it. Had me on hold the whole time. So I I felt he was doing his job and everything. Then I called back because I wasn't too sure. Spoke to a female over the phone that had an attitude. Again, this was customer service. So you never know who you might be talking to and what state, country, providence. You never know. Was saying that, oh, that's not true. What he told you, he told you the wrong information. And I'm like, how's that? Oh, because um, you have to you have to wait till the fifth business day or whatever the case may be, and that's not until Thursday. Now, what I'm thinking right now, I don't know. I'm kind of eerie and iffy about it. After I get done with this video, I'm gonna call one more time to see what the hell's going on because I would like to know where the fuck my money is at, and I do with my fucking money. That go for anybody out here. Who the fuck is not gonna want their fucking money? For real. I don't work for free. I don't bust my ass for free. You know, that's just, just how the way I feel here. Keep track of your money 24-7 at all times. You know, for real. Just from my experience to anybody out there, keep track of your bread, you know? And um, that, um, other than that, man, I'm out of here. And uh, wish me the best of luck. And let's get to that 1,000 subscriber mark and um, help me get past, help me, help me get, no, for real though. Help me get help me get me to that subscriber mark, that one thousand subscriber mark, or help me get get me way past that. Other than that, I'm out, man.